Well, San Joaquin County is playing a major role in a small film debuting in Sacramento tonight. Actor Nick Fenske and Linda Arslanian join us in the studio this morning to talk about their movie, In the Eyes of a Killer. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having us. So tell me about the movie. Something tells me this is not a comedy. It is not. It's, a, uh, it's about a professor who was blind, and they do surgery, uh, and they use the eyes of a death row inmate, who I portray. Oh. And through this transformation, he is able to see again, and then he goes through life experiences of the killer. So, not your comedy. <laughs> no, it's not. not. Not light to entertainment. It's serious. Serious and, business. And you were telling me this was, this was basically filmed in two and a half weeks, and one of the major sets was a house in Woodbridge. How was that chosen? Um, uh, we actually filmed on the Lighthouse Resort in the Delta, and it actually was a friend of... Wit, who owns the Lighthouse Resort, and it was convenient for us to go from there to there to film. So, did you have a lot of actors from the Lodi area? There are a lot of local actors. Um, Kelly Simone from 1019, The Wolf was in it. Um, Bird from Judge Judy was in it. So we had a lot, lot of local flavor. But Lewis and Costas, Mandalore, were in it. James Marshall. So it was Sacramento with a Hollywood feel for sure. What kind of reaction did you get from the locals down there to all the filming that was going on? Were people pretty excited about it, or were they even aware of it? Very supportive. Everybody was very supportive. And how did you, again, how did you pick that location? Why that spot? I think basically due to uh, the, the script. The script was on an island, and it was just perfect. And, you know, it's Sacramento, so why not support the Delta? Right, right. Who do you think is most likely to enjoy uh, this film? What's the target audience here? Um, somebody who likes uh, action, horror. Um, as Lewis likes to put it, it's like a kind of a Hitchcock thing. So anybody who likes that and enjoys movies. And what was your experience like in the film? Um, well, I actually enjoyed working on it because uh, the people were very supportive on everything. We. Most of us held many hats, and uh, Mamie Jean Calvert, who wrote it and produced it, was uh, just fabulous to everybody on set, so it was very enjoyable to work for her, you know, what can I say, and uh, filming on the Delta was fabulous, and then we also... Uh, yeah, there's worse places you could be. Yes, <laughs> and we also used uh, Phoenix University to film a few scenes in school, and we also used uh, Methodist Hospital in an emergency room, one of the doctors was actually a real live doctor. Oh, really? So. Well, give us the particulars on where and when the film can be seen tonight. 8.30 tonight, uh, 24th Street Theater in Sacramento. Uh, Louis Mandalore, uh, the star and the director of the film, will be there tonight for a Q&A afterwards. And I believe tickets are $10 at the door. It's a good opportunity for people to see the film and talk to him. Absolutely. All right. Nick, Linda, thank you both very much for coming in. All right, thanks for having us. Good luck with the film. Thank you. Thank you. Well, coming up, another look at the